guys welcome back to my channel my eyelashes look crazy so it is 9 30 we have been up since 7 the baby actually slept until 7 15. i could not believe when i woke up and looked at the clock i thought it was gonna be like six o'clock and it was past seven um that's been two mornings in a row now so i don't know why it looks like i have a black eye over here but he's pretty much slept like seven to seven or seven to seven fifteen ish it's life changing. So if he keeps this up, I'm going to start getting up at six and I'll have like a whole hour before he even wakes up, which talk about life changing. Like, gosh, I almost just banged my head off the counter. Um, yeah, we had breakfast this morning together. We had, um, pumpkin pancakes and then I've been sipping on my coffee. I did some emails, um, laundry and I did a workout too. I'll link the workout that I did down below. Um, the baby's currently watching Pets 2 on TV. Um, he likes to watch a little bit of TV in the morning. That's like the only time of day he really gets screen time. Once in a while, he'll get it like after dinner as well. But um, that's kind of like how I get my workout in and all of that. If he likes to watch Pets 2. Before Pets 2, it was The Grinch, the new version, like new cartoon. Dad, dad. Yeah, dad, that is working. Did you think I was on the phone with him? Oh, sorry. Daddy. Yeah, those are hot. It's not hot right now, but we don't play with those. Because then we'll turn this on and it'll be fire. Fire. Uh. I'm, like, starving again. Um, we had breakfast, like, right when we woke up. So it's been two and a half hours since I've eaten. I usually eat every two and a half hours. <laughs> plus, um, <laughs> plus, with my workout and everything, I always get wicked hungry after. So I think I'm going to make some eggs. And originally, um, Kyle's mom was going to watch him for today, and I was going to go help my mom move some stuff at her house. She's having new carpet put in, and um, Kyle's mom has was, like, sick last night, so she texted me this morning. She's like, I can't watch him. She felt so bad, but it's totally fine. I just don't really know, like, what we're going to do today now because I didn't, like, make any plans or anything. So we do have to run and get diapers at Walmart. I love the Hello Bello diapers, so I always go to Walmart. I always go to Walmart for his diapers, so we need some of those. So, do you want to make some eggs? Mm. Huh? I want to throw my hair up. Can I have a kiss? Oh. Ah. What? Oh. Um, I kind of want some cheese in mine. Some pepper jack cheese. Want some cheese in yours? You do? Okay. I was not paying attention. Nope, don't play in it, please. That's okay, honey. I just need to wipe it up. Okay, don't touch. <laughs> Mess. Broken egg. Whoopsies. Mommy wasn't paying attention, was she? I was, like, way more concerned with him falling off the counter and, like, keeping an eye on him that way. And didn't even realize oh, he was getting into the egg. Yep, yeah, Mommy will get it. I know, I know, let's see it. Whoopsies, I saw that happening. Here, you want to wipe up the rest? Here. Thank you. But honey, I don't want you close to the stove. The bachelor's on tonight, so the vlog must end before 8 o'clock. Because I am not missing that. I love Peter, and I accidentally, well, kind of accidentally, clicked on a video on YouTube that like gave me all of the like hints and sneak peeks for the entire season and I kind of regret it because ugh, I didn't want to know what happened but like you you know what you do and you don't do a little bit of almond milk so my mom always makes her eggs with a little bit of milk and then she like whips them up really good um, for scrambled eggs and when I make scrambled eggs I usually just like break them all in the pan and then just kind of like swirl them around which I like them that way but yesterday Yesterday, um, when I went to her house, she made her scrambled eggs, and like I haven't had them that way in a long time. And I was like, these are really good. They're like really fluffy and kind of like restaurant style scrambled eggs. So now I'm on a little kick, I think. A bit of oil in the pan. Oh wow, thank you. Trying to put the milk in there. Thanks, love. What is he? Yeah, this is hot. 
This is don't touch now, okay? Let me just pour them in. Then I'm gonna cook them up a little bit and then put a little bit of pepper jack cheese in here. Mama's using that one. Do you want your own? Here. Hey, you're gonna get down if you're not, if you can't handle up here. It's on your. Yeah. Yeah. Check on this. Nox, do you want some eggs, honey? Hi, lovey. Did you have a good nap? I love your hair. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> you want to come out? Boing, 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 boing. How did you sleep? Uh, Good. Uh, um, I like your hair. Uh, you do too. Do you want to go look at your hair? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Does he back <laughs> Do you love Braxton? You want to go snuggle with him? Oh. Hi, brother. Mm. Yeah, I say come and lay. <laughs> do you want to go visit daddy at work? You do. He doesn't have the snowmobile, though. But he's at work. You can run around for a little bit. Oh, I bet he will let you ride one of the excavators or something. I don't know what they're called. We gotta get some socks and put your shoes on. Yeah, hat. Do you want to eat before we go? Yeah, hat. Mama come? Okay. Dude, your hair is awesome. Okay, guys, so I got ready while he was napping. He just napped for like an hour and a half, so I did more emails and um some more laundry and I cleaned up a little bit and then I got ready so I'll show you guys a quick outfit of the day it's super simple but um these earrings are where are these from now I can't remember where these are from for the life of me cannot remember my sweater is from Kohl's it's just like a simple um like turtleneck kind of sweater and then I have these ripped jeans on from Old Navy. These are not maternity, they're just regular, but um, they were like my postpartum jeans, so they were a little like looser and really low rise. So I can still wear them right now because they're so low. And then I'm just gonna put on some black flat boots from Kohl's. I throw these boots on, they're so comfy. I like like the little metal like studded detail and they're kind of like Chelsea boots and then docks if they like had a baby together. I feel like this is what it would look like. So I love them, I wear them all the time. You guys can tell they're like filthy. Um, I'm gonna pack him a couple snacks before we head out. And then when we hop in the car, I'm gonna give you guys like a little life update because there's so much, so much going on. Wanted to show you guys the new car seat that we got for the new baby. Um, we actually got this from Poshmark and this is the Rachel Zoe um, limited edition Maxi Cozy infant car seat it is so beautiful i wanted this so bad you cannot find them anywhere anymore yeah i looked everywhere for this and then one day it popped up on poshmark it had only been on for 11 hours i literally looked it over really quick and um bought it yeah so i'm really really glad i found it it is used but it doesn't expire until 2025 um so i figured we could still get our use out of it well it's got the little cover that comes up and then i just obviously love the brown leather accents and everything but I'm pretty obsessed with it um if you guys know of any brands or like Etsy shops or you have an Etsy shop or something like that and you do like um really nice looking baby products I don't even care it could be swaddles onesies um, binkies binky clips like anything like that comment down below and let me know what these shops are because I'm like really wanting to just spend more money on like 
the things that we really really need and like nice things that also are like aesthetically pleasing rather than just having a bunch of stuff that we like don't enjoy or don't use so I've kind of been on the hunt for like brands that are like affordable like this car seat I know that you can get car seats that look like this but they're like thousands of dollars same with like uh, bassinets and like cribs and things like that like you can find stuff that looks really really nice but you have to pay thousands of dollars for it that car seat was like three hundred dollars or so if you guys know what I'm saying, yeah, if you have like brands and stuff that you really like, let me know because I'm really trying to stick to the, stick to the basics and just get really nice stuff that we like and just have like the things we need in our life. Minimizing, slowly minimizing everything. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Let's go change your diaper. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys Knox's new car seat. We needed another convertible car seat or like toddler seat. So Kyle got my other Maxi Cozy and then I put this one in my car. This one seems to be a little bit more comfortable. It was like $100 more than the other one. Um, I'll link both down below. Um, but he seems to like this one a lot better. He seems to be a lot more comfortable. You like your new car seat? Yeah, okay, we gotta put your socks on so your feet don't freeze. Um, but they have this in like a caramel color. Or like a nude and it's gorgeous I was afraid that it was gonna be stained uh, so I just got the black one but yeah like I said I'll link it down below I actually really really love it so yeah bless you <laughs> we're gonna go visit daddy huh yeah life update so Kyle and I you guys a lot of you guys have heard this a lot um, but I'm just gonna do a quick recap and then I'll tell you guys like the latest info and kind of like what's going on so Kyle and I sold our house um, and then we went under contract for a two unit apartment which was a flip so we were putting or er, are planning on putting a lot of money into this place to flip it and then we're going to live in one half and rent out the other half while we are building our house which we still need to find land to build our house on. So yeah we've had four or five different closing dates for the apartment and it's like fallen through for one reason or another. And then we were finally supposed to legitimately close on Friday, this past Friday, and two days before closing, the apartment completely flooded. So, since it flooded, we obviously didn't close, and now the sellers are trying to figure out what they're gonna do. So frustrating because we should have been in there by now. Our original closing day was beginning of December, and um, the flip is gonna take four to six weeks, so we were expecting to be in there like right now. We were expecting me to be moving in or fully moved in by now. So it's just like so frustrating and so hard because we are currently living with a family, which with a child and a dog, like, and you're used to your own space, it's just, it's just a lot. And we're so lucky to have family to take us in. Don't, don't get me wrong. So that's kind of where we're at. That's why we are not in the apartment. That's why you haven't had like any um, apartment tours or anything like that, like I had promised. Um, we just haven't been over there. And at this point, we don't know what's gonna happen. So there's that. As far as land goes, we have put a couple offers in on land. We're still looking and we are trying to solidify land by spring so we can start our building process for our house. We're really hoping to be in our house by fall, this fall, because baby number two comes in June and we were just hoping that by the time the baby was like four months old, we would be in our new house and yeah. All of that said, like we completely understand that these things happen and this is just kind of how this process, this process goes, but it is just extra hard because we already sold our house. We sold our house in like a couple of days and yeah, so. That is just kind of a life update.
Okay, so we just got home from visiting Kyle and from Walmart. We were gonna go visit my mom, but um, she ended up being out of the house or she was just about to leave. So we didn't go out there, but. So I wanna show you guys what I picked up for dinner and just kind of what I got at Walmart. They are like having a blast over there, it's so cute. Um, but for the baby, I got organic whole milk. I'm gonna do our groceries. I'll probably do like Hannaford to go um, tomorrow or something, so I just grabbed a few things. But we also got some organic heavy cream. So his pediatrician said that he's like perfectly healthy. He's on his own little like growing curve and he's just like super active and everything. So um, that's why he's small. He's just kind of naturally small and then he's super active on top of that. But she's like, if you want to put heavy cream in his milk, then you can. It might help him gain a little bit of weight. So heavy cream, which the organic one was so expensive. It was $5 for this little thing. Got some sweet potatoes. I'm gonna make sweet potato fries for dinner. Got some free range chicken strips. I'm just gonna probably like throw those in the oven or saute them or like cook them up in a pan with just salt and pepper. And then the baby picked out corn for our vegetable. So we were kind of going through all the veggies and I like asked him what he wanted as a vegetable and picked out corn, so. Hopefully he eats them, he probably will. And then I also just picked up this black beanie. He has a gray one of these, um, and they're just good to have. They're like $2.98 at Walmart or something. We don't use the gloves because they're too big on him, but yeah, just a little black beanie throw on. And I got wipes and diapers. So for wipes, I just got the Pampers Sensitive. This is what we usually use. He's not like, we're not super picky with our wipes as long as they're not scented. If they're scented, they give him like a really bad rash. So yeah, I just got these. And then I picked up the Hello Bello diapers. This print is so cute. I'll actually open them up and show you guys. I really like the Hello Bello diapers. Um, I just feel like they fit well and, um, and they absorb well and they seem to be comfortable. They don't like bother his skin or anything. So this print is my favorite. I wish I could get a whole box of these ones. They're so cute and it has like, I don't know, like a tropical animal kind of theme. So cute. Yeah, and then the other ones are this like, deep purple and orange like space print. It's 2.30 and daddy doesn't get home until 5.30. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do. But I'm gonna put groceries away. I need to pick up a little bit. I feel like I need a nap. So somebody knows that they are not supposed to play in the dog food, but they're doing it anyway. Knox. Um, excuse me. This has been an ongoing struggle for like six months now. I'm sorry, honey. You cannot play in the dog's food. That's Braxton's food and his water. Spinny, spinny, spinny. Whoa. Spinny, spinny. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is when he's too dizzy to get up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay, slow down. You're too dizzy. You're too dizzy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You're gonna be too dizzy, honey. I don't blame you. I'd be tired too if I just did that. <laughs> oh my god. So the baby wanted oatmeal for a snack. And this. This. Happened. It's like nothing can ever be easy, right guys? Whoa. Taking the crock pots. Hmm.
suppose it was going to get messy anyway, right? Oh. Awesome. I'm caught on the microwave. Jeez. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. I got these bowls off of Amazon. They are microwave, dishwasher, and oven safe, which is crazy to me because it's like squishy silicone or whatever, but I usually don't microwave. Actually, I've never microwaved anything in here, but I was trying to make it quick and easy, and I just learned my lesson the hard way. How's your oatmeal? Yeah. It's good. Braxton's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Easy on him, honey. Gentle. Well, careful in that chair, sir. He's like, he's trying to find your pointer finger. He's trying to figure out which one it was. Hey guys, so we just put the baby to bed and Kyle ran out to um, prep for an ice fishing trip that he's going on this weekend. It's like an annual ice fishing trip that they always go on him and like his friends and stuff. So. He had to go do some stuff for that, so I'm going to read some more emails and um, just get a little bit of work done before The Bachelor comes on. So, so yeah, I have about an hour until the show starts. So yeah, I'm going to close out the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.